Hey y'all, so I am just here gonna make a video because yesterday I made a whole video talking about how I'm gonna um, change and become a better person and really start focusing on my goals and blah 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 stuff you guys are tired of hearing me talk about. So here I am today, I j literally just got off of work probably two hours ago. I'm not feeling good. I'm tired. I'm stressed out. And I'm feeling really depressed and down. And I'm here making a video because guess what? Yesterday I said I was going to keep pushing and I was going to keep following through. And I'm just going to say my girl just hit me up on Snapchat. And she told me, you know, you have so much to be excited for. And um, it's probably the birth control change. Okay, so yeah, I just switched birth controls from the next one on to the pill. And I'm probably just really just having some kind of hormonal imbalances, like she said. Because I'm like, what the heck? Like, pl please. Stop being so sad. Like, why are you sad? I don't know. I'm like, oh, my daughter doesn't love me. When she is two years old. And, yeah. Y'all, I'm, I'm just going through a little moment. I'm just going through a little moment. That's all. And. I also made a goal yesterday that I was going to journal, and I haven't yet journaled today. And I'm feeling so sick. Like, ugh, this birth control got me so messed up. Switching to the pill might have been a really bad decision. Like, why did I take my birth control out of my arm? The only reason I took it out was because I was, like, I was on my period for six months straight. And I'm not kidding you. And I don't care if you think that it's too much information. I don't care. I was on my period for six months straight. Nobody wants to be on a period for six months straight. You can't have sex on your period. You can't do nothing when you're bleeding like that. That is disgusting and it's unhuman. So I just had to take that thing out. And then I've like been going through like emotions like, did you make a mistake? You better not get pregnant. You better not get pregnant. You don't, You know you don't want no more kids. So yeah, just the sadness, the depression, the nausea are all warning signs. Like, you need to be careful. Like, it's just waking me up. Maybe this is God just saying, Amber, you just switched birth controls. You went to the pill. Like, you're in control of taking that pill every day. You need, I'm showing you what it's going to feel like if you do that again, okay? Make sure you're taking your pill every day on time. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for ha having my back. I figured it out. I figured it out, y'all. That's why I needed to come on here and talk to you guys. Because you guys just put me, you complete me. You put me together. I just put myself together right here. You just witnessed it. That's all it is. That's why I'm depressed, probably. I feel a lot better now. See what I'm saying? This is therapeutic. Wow. Uh, yeah, but that's all I got for you guys today because I'm tired. I worked a 12-hour shift today. And I'm going to go write in my journal, like I said, I was going to do every day. And then I'm going to call it a night because I got work in the morning. So, yeah. Please stay tuned for this wild ride, y'all. It's about to be a wild ride, and I'm going to show you guys up close and personal how wild it's going to be. Like I said, all I got to do is post a five-minute video every day. Here I am. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I love y'all. Subscribe, even though I know, I know you're not going to. Freaking hater. I didn't say no bad word. I said Frickin', frickin' is not a bad word. You're a frickin' hater. You're a mother bunch of heifers. I'm just kidding, y'all. Please subscribe. Uh, your girl's going through it, okay? 
I'll see y'all later. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to give y'all a little spin real quick. A little spin. A little spin. A little spin. A little spin. I got to, like, you know, air my way back, back around. So my phone had stopped recording, so I'm hoping... Now I have to start all over again because I just showed too much skin. And now I just lost the page that I was going to freaking read. Are you kidding me? No, I wanted to read that. I lost. page that I was going to read to y'all and um, let me just close my robe and stop being a whore and let me crisscross applesauce so I can be comfortable because you know my legs hurt from just getting off of work um okay we're still recording okay I gotta talk a little loud because the phone acts like he can't hear okay Sorry y'all, I keep having to end this video because my baby daddy keeps calling me over and over when I already tried to talk to him about how I'm feeling. He didn't care, now I don't want to talk, I don't feel like talking. Okay, so I found the page, I'm just going to restart all over again because you guys know I can't read anyway. I can't read my own handwriting anyway. So we're probably going to be here for another 30 minutes. So get, get, go get a drink of water and sit down and watch my dang video and hear what I have to say. Okay? I'm just joking. I don't mean that. I'm not taking my aggression out on y'all. Okay? I'm not. Anyway. Okay. This was 8-23-19. And it said, my mood has been horrible. Right now I'm just getting tired. School's overwhelming. And I only have like 20 days left and I cannot wait to finish already. I, I hate that place. It's been the longest year there. Then I got, then it got good just to turn to shit at the end. Then of course Ben made me flare up. I asked him to bring me gas money to school so I can get to work tonight and he never came. I finally just broke up with him because I am beyond tired of dealing with his BS. Dating back to May. Dating back to May when my lease was up and I asked him to pay the rent four months while I finished school and he refused. Forced me to move back in with my mom, leave my apartment. I just feel so let down. It used to be us fighting over him cheating. I don't even make that an option anymore. I don't even really care enough to want to snoop around and that's the only reason we don't have those problems because if I cared, I know 100% my feelings would be hurt. My heart would be broken 24-7 just like it was from August 2015 to 2018 here today. Like I'm over it. He makes me so many promises and then breaks them. He don't take care of me. He just works and I don't know what that says. Oh, okay. The feelings I'm feeling right now, hatred, betrayal. Like, you really would leave me stranded with no gas at school so I can't get to work. Then you want to have... Then I want to ask myself if I'm being too hard on him and too ungrateful because he did give me 130 the past week and a half and the night I did Deisha's hair I didn't pick him up from work and he had to he had to walk home those things make me question myself but then again I know I'm not wrong Ben has never taken care of me and we are on our fourth year he made me hold down all the bills he helped but it wasn't nothing I always have to scream and yell and cry for a week stress from head to toe for him to help me then he left to Africa 
for five months, left me with the apartment. I'm just fed up, and at this point, I feel nothing. He, nothing he does will be enough because I'm already past pushed. I'm past. I pushed past my limit. Well, the night is coming to an end. I have two and a half hours left, so I'm just going to take my time and ride a little. I'm pretty tired now that I came back from my lunch break. I'm just going to keep praying about getting through school tomorrow. But honestly, all this is temporary. Very soon I'll be done with school. I only have three more weeks, and I couldn't be more ready. Once I finish, I'm going to just work Monday through Friday and put all my money towards my credit. And if I work really hard i can have those things paid off really fast gonna focus on the two phone oh gonna focus on the two phone companies first at t and verizon then knock out what i have left get on a payment plan for my student loans and open up a new bank account at tucson federal and start working my way up to getting a new car And then I wrote a list of things that I needed to get done, and it was pay debts, um, get on student loan payments, a new car, and a credit card. Those are my, I don't know, y'all. I just be making stuff, you know, every day. So, and then it says, those four steps I know will help me with my credit score. I'm so ready, to, so ready and excited. Once I get my new car, reality will hit because I'll have to pay my own insurance. But to keep that under control, I'll pay up months in advance like I always do. But other than that, Nala's birthday is Sunday, which is tomorrow. I can't believe my baby grew up on me. I gotta make sure the phone's still recording because you know I got phone problems, okay? Okay, that's why I'm at work tonight because I refuse to mess up her birthday by having to work, which is what I almost did. Oh, almost always what anyway that's what I almost did but I can hardly keep my eyes open so I'll wrap this up and I don't know that's all it says that was the end so it says I can't keep my eyes open so I'll wrap this up and blah 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 so yeah, I mean, when I'm at work at night, because there's not a whole lot to do at night, I usually spend my time writing in my journal, and you can obviously tell I'm super exhausted writing that because I can't even read what I'm writing. So anyway, yeah, and that's really funny. This, is, this was an amazing idea to read out my journals out loud because my baby dad just pissed me off previously like I was just saying in the, yeah, y'all, it's all coming together. This is working. This is going to be success, okay? So, yeah, that was uh, Follow Your Dreams by Amber Ray. And I'll talk to y'all later. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. And I know y'all love me. You really do. And the ones who keep watching me, thank you for supporting me. Because, baby, let me tell you. When I come, when I go to the top, I'm taking y'all with me. So let's go. Pack your bags, baby. We going to the top.